All right, folks, makers, uh, everybody, I appreciate all the work you're all doing here in the groups. Uh, I know a lot of people are needing face shields, uh, filter masks, stuff like that, short supply all over the place. Uh, I really like the copper 3D design. Uh, I really, really like uh, what Jessman did over on 3duniverse.org, 3duniverse.org. Uh, he took the same copper 3D design. Instead of having one filter pack, he has two filter packs, which has a lot better airflow. Uh, awesome, awesome. Now, what I don't like is they're printing these out of PLA. PLA is kind of a pain in the butt to use, uh, mainly because you need more supplies to actually get this mask created. So once you print it out flat, uh, you got to heat form it. So you have to take a hot air gun, hot water, whatever, uh, get the mask toasty, and then put the hot mask against your face while it's still pliable and form it to your face. And then after that, you have to take some sealing uh, material, uh, probably foam tape, go around the perimeter of the inside of the mask, to create that seal. Now, the, the benefit of the foam tape is it will actually lift the mask off your face uh, a couple millimeters. That's nice because you do get better airflow. Now, I thought, uh, why not print these at a TPU? It'd be flexible, so it'd fit many faces really fast. Uh, so I printed out a TPU and I put it on my face and uh, the one issue I found was I was not getting a seal obviously around my nose uh, so I ended up sticking a, a 14 I think it's 14 maybe 16 gauge wire across here I put it on the mask I pushed down around my nose right there and I achieved seal nothing else done now what I did do was on the bottom of the copper 3D mask, uh, they have a chin piece which comes down here. I don't understand the need for that. I cut it off. Didn't need it. So when I throw the mask on, now if you notice I have some gaffer's tape here on the ends of the mask. I have gaffer's tape holding this. Uh, it's mainly for support right here just so I don't rip out the cords. Now this is just a basic elastic cord uh, had around the house. If I throw this mask on, it feels really good. The TPU mask takes about an hour, maybe less, hour and a half, maybe a little bit more. I tend to print really slow because I, I like getting that glass layer. Uh, so I recommend printing, I'll just do my honeycomb on the ground, the, the cap and the uh, honeycomb material uh, out of PLA because uh, you're going to need some rigidity in this. And it's, uh, it works a little bit better when sliding PLA against TPU. Uh, I did have a layer shift when I was printing this so things don't exactly line up. But just pop it in, just screw it on and you're good to go. So guys uh what i need help with on this design is right here on the on the ridges it'd be nice if there were wire guides uh just simple little loops so you could feed a wire through there uh, so uh, loops what which have a uh an, a, like a hook little hooks they go over this so you could feed a wire through there and the mask will stay formed to what the shape of the wire. Uh, same thing across the ridge, the bridge of the nose, just right through there. Uh, I know that's not the bridge, it's up there, but anyways, uh, right there across the nose, basically over just over the nostril area, have a some more wire guides so you can actually. Uh, Get that seal that's that's where you, that's the only place you need to seal at now it would also be very nice to on the inside of the mask since this is very flat uh, somehow we needed to get some ducting in here around this circle to allow airflow uh, on a, my test if you breathe normally it works great uh, if you start really huffing and puffing you're you might achieve a negative lock. Uh, what I mean is this seal will actually 
gets stuck to your face when you're breathing in and you'll be sudden stop on breathing and of course you gotta adjust and you're good again so ridges in here somehow we need to get some ducting in here so this will not seal to the face and uh, some wire guide hooks across these points so you can form that seal across the top uh, your natural skin should I can't say for everybody but most people it will probably still just fine so uh, let's get to work let's get this done